His energy is amazing. His line is inimitable. His combination with words, collage, and assemblage, nobody else did. It's all under his own aesthetic. But the way he combined knowledge, the way he created knowledge rooms, is so contemporary. In the end, he has foreseen the way we work today with uh, Twitter, with uh, all our social media and uh, our internet communication. He saw this drawing by Leonardo da Vinci and he transformed it into something totally new. The horse that so-called deaf rider is riding is not existing. It has fallen apart. It's the fundament of our society symbolized in this horse, which has fallen apart, which is missing. So the African-American rider, he cannot ride because there is no horse. It's nowhere to go. <laughs> He was a shaman. When I see him, I always think about the shaman. He has this kind of crown, who has become now iconic, but his elegance was the one of a, of a tribe chief, you know, shaman, you know. I find this kind of allure with Barack Obama in some kind, you know. He was a guide, a spiritual guide for some experience. It was my idea once in the winter time in St. Moritz when we saw other collaborations hanging in my house of other artists and, and Basquiat was drawing in my guest book together with one of my our children. Uh, that was collaborations and, and I asked him once, maybe it would be nice to make one's collaborations with, an, with one or two other artists. What about with Warhol? And of course Warhol was like the the god of, uh, it's like Picasso in his time, you know. He was just great, a great personality and maybe the most curious person I ever met. He wanted to know everything about anything.
chaque exposition, c'est une nouvelle découverte, euh, une plongée dans l'œuvre d'un maître de l'histoire de l'art. Et Basquiat s'affirme aujourd'hui, 30 ans après sa mort, comme un maître de l'histoire de l'art.